Many of us have not been in a science classroom in quite a while, so we thought it would be great to bring a little science into the studio. And joining us now, we have Travis Hogue, the Fargo Public Schools Teacher of the Year. Congratulations, Travis. Thank you, Heidi. And yeah. welcome to the show. Thanks, pleasure. It's uh, really excited to be here, and thanks awesome. for having me. Awesome, awesome. So what are we going to make today? So today, uh, we're going to just take some common household items um, and kind of mix them together. Okay. And we're going to see a chemical reaction happen. Yes. And then I think once the chemical reaction happens, a lot of the kids from the 70s and, and maybe early 80s are going <laughs> to realize what this kind of looks like. Right. Um, and it, it's pretty exciting. It's pretty fun. Um, and you can literally stare at this for minutes, um, and it's uh, kind of visually stunning. So Okay. Yeah. Well, I see color, so I'm excited about that. We're yeah. going to have some yeah, fun with yeah. that. Okay, so, so bas let's... basically the ingredients I did here are just common table vegetable oil, uh -huh. a little bit of vinegar, okay, a little food coloring to color up the vinegar, and then all we're going to add is just a little bit of baking soda, and uh, you're going to see this react. So all it's right, so fun. this is going to be a surprise as to what it is we're going to make them guess. Yes, okay, absolutely. I love it. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Okay, right, what are we going to do? We're ready. Let's okay, go. Okay, so I'm helping. You choose your color that you want. Okay, okay. I love blue. Okay, I'm going to take purple. And we're just going to... going in there? Yep. And you put yours in the big one oh, here. Oh, okay. You get the big one. Yeah, oh, I thought that was... Awesome. All right, so we'll just kind of sprinkle this around on the inside there. Okay, you're doing it fancy. Okay. You can kind of see uh, that Ooh, it's, it's kind that. of I turning into yep, little bubbles. And the reason, uh, the science behind this is the vinegar and food coloring is a little bit more dense than the vegetable oil, so that's why it's sinking to the sure. bottom. Okay, okay. okay. So, so I'm next, getting our science lesson. Yes, yes. So next we're going to take the baking soda. Okay. Do you want to grab yours? Oh, yes. Yep. And then we're just going to sprinkle this over the top. Okay. And I'll get another one going here. We'll get a little green. We got some good. I'm, I'm slow. We got some good <laughs> Easter colors going on here. Yes, we do. At first I was like, are we tying Easter eggs? <laughs> Ooh, that green is pretty. So, in a few seconds, we're gonna see the magic happen. Okay. I love these test tubes. Or, th well, the, this one is. It's just for fun, you know. Okay. Ooh, look what's happening. <gasps> Ooh. All right, so. Oh, they have, we need to, we need to. You know what? Yeah, what do we got going on here? Maybe we need... Mine is... I want to move mine Oh, yours, oh yours is starting. Look at that. Yep, it's going. Yep. It takes we, a little bit of time for it to react. That is so cool. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Look it. All right. What is it? What yep. is it, people? You've got to guess. Can so you it, tell? It, Heidi, it would, it would look even more stunning if we were able to turn the lights off in the studio here and beam some flashlights into it. Oh, cool. And that would make it even a little bit more magical. Yep. That would be fun. But yours is really starting to go now. I know. I love this. That's so cool. And so how long will this last? So this will last anywhere from like five to ten minutes. But the kind of the fun thing is, you know, this is all about experimentation. So mm -hmm. you could add, you could take a couple other drops of food coloring, put them in there, put a little bit more baking soda. Even when the, starts to, the reaction stops, you could start it again with a little bit more baking soda and a little bit more vinegar. Okay, so, so okay, so I'm going to ask you. Oh, look at okay. First so of all, when you put this color in, that looked like brown to me, and now and, the purple is and really now the coming out. popping, right? Yep. So what? What? Okay, what? What did we use here? What were these? So again, it was uh, common vegetable oil. Okay. And then you just take a little bit of uh, regular vinegar that you uh -huh. probably have in your kitchen pantry. Sure. Um, and then I like to use some different food colorings. Um, spice it up a little bit, and then a little baking soda. And, and so the vinegar it. reacts with the baking soda. Yeah, when it reacts, it forms uh, carbon dioxide, which then rises to the top. The gas dissipates into the air, and then the vinegar and food coloring falls back down to the bottom. So. Okay. And I'm sure the viewers from our 60s and 70s are starting to look at this and go, oh, I think I kind of <laughs> remember what this yeah, is. Yeah. So this is what we call homemade lava lamps. That's right, so, a yep. lava lamp. So I, okay, so... What is making this like kind of coagulate in there? So again, it's, it all, that all has to do with density. So okay. the reason it slow, uh, falls very slowly is because the density and property values of the vinegar and the food coloring are very similar to the vegetable oil. Uh -huh. And density is all about how, uh, uh, in, in layman's terms, it's all about how heavy something is in a given space. Okay. Um, so yeah, so it's a little bit heavier per volume than, than, the, than the oil, so it's gonna fall back down to the bottom. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then it touches a little bit of baking soda, 
chemical reaction, and then it rises back up to the top with that gas. So, That's yeah, it's so kind of fun. Fun. It's so neat. Yeah. So, um, you teach science clearly. I teach, yeah, I teach six. <laughs> I teach sixth grade science at Ben Franklin Middle School in North Fargo. Um, I've been teaching in Fargo Public Schools for 26 years. It's been it's been an absolutely awesome journey. Um, every year, my clientele gets to change. I think that's one of the best things about teaching. Right. Um, and uh, so, yeah, I'm just really excited to be able to come into the studio and kind of share yeah, this a little experiment fun. with you and, and talk a little bit about education and, and what it's like to be an educator. So It's yeah. nice to be able to be in the classroom again, I'm sure. Oh, my goodness. And to be able to do your yes. experiments. Yes. You know, we're still following safety pr protocols like with the masks mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and trying to six foot distance and things like that because uh, we feel like that's important. Um, but yeah, now now we're all back in the classroom and um, I, I can get together in small groups and do this, uh, try to do quick little experiments like this with the kids so they can kind of get the feeling of what, of what a normal school year is. So, exactly. Yeah, absolutely. And something like this is a blast just to see the, you know. Yeah, funny story. I was doing this yesterday in, in one of my classes just to kind of get ready for today so sure. I didn't look like a fool. <laughs> and uh, one of the kids was like, Mr. Hogue, that's really cool. What, what is all this? So, yeah, we got to explain it and kind of talk about it. And, uh, yeah, they, they loved it. So they thought it was really neat. Well, this so. is fun. I mean, definitely um, you can see those kids are probably going to go home and try this, <laughs> right? Right, right. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, and by the way, if you do try this at home, moms <laughs> and dads, uh, do not dump the vegetable oil into your sink. You will end oh. up with a very expensive plumbing bill. Oh, that's um, a good so point. So you need to make sure you discard of it properly. Um, what I usually do is um, dump it back into the original container and then uh, you can find some local restaurants where you can kind of dump your vegetable oil okay. or just uh, put it in your garbage can and it'll end up in the landfill. So, but don't, do not dump it into your not sinks. Not into the sink. <laughs> awesome. Into the sinks. Well, yep. Travis, this is awesome. And uh, congratulations once again on, yeah. on uh, Teacher of the Year. Thank Obviously, you. something like this makes for a lot of fun and I know that you are high energy and fun. So, um, <laughs> that's why he won. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway, well, thank you so yeah. much for being with us. Thanks, Heidi. Thanks for having me again. All right. So from science to home ec, we are making some fun Easter treats. So stay tuned. <laughs>